Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video will be a little bit different, but at the same time, more of the same. Today I will explain how I would invest my 1,400 stimulus check to be able to double my money with time. It is more of a personal finance video, but at the same time, I'll talk about stocks that I think are worth investing the stimulus check on. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already and smashing that like button since it really helps the channel out. Also, I have a completely free Discord group chat, which the link for that is down in the description below. Well, I would assume all of you already know that the IRS is now sending stimulus checks to banks and email. Some may have already received it and others don't, but most likely will soon. I do want to know if you have already received it or not, as well as your $600 stimulus check. Let me know in the comment section below. So where to invest the stimulus check? Obviously, I'm referring to invest in stocks, crypto, or any sort of long-term investment. Even though I can't recommend stocks directly to you because I'm not a financial advisor, even though I will talk about stocks I would buy, I can definitely recommend you what you should do before deciding to invest in the stock market. First and most important, you have to make sure that you have your essential covered, food on your table, shelter on your head, healthcare for you and your family, and even more right now with this pandemic. After you got that cover, I would recommend you pay off a bad debt that you may have. Bad debt for me is anything with a high interest rate, such as a credit card debt, because you are losing money by paying that debt monthly and it would certainly help you long term if you pay it off faster. It will be a risk-free return of investment in your wealth. Believe me, it is way better to pay off that credit card before investing in stocks because you might be getting charged about 15 to 20 or even 30% on that credit card. And that means that you would need to make over 20 or 30% in return in stocks with that money in order to actually be profitable. After you got your essentials covered, your bad debt paid off, only then I would invest money from that stimulus check in the stock market or any other long-term investment. But how would I invest it? I will talk about three different groups of investments. First, the safe investment. Second, the mother risk investment, blue chip dividend stocks. And third will be more of growth stocks or high risk, high reward investments. Obviously a high risk, high reward investment might have, again, might have better return than safe investment in the long term, but high risk is not for everyone. The first section, safe investment, is more for people that are either starting to invest and still do not feel that comfortable with the stock market, or for people that cannot spend hours and hours doing research on different companies, but still want to invest their money for the long term. Obviously, in this sector, I would invest in ETFs and index funds. I would invest most of my most part of the money on the S&P 500 because you would be investing in the 500 largest U.S. companies. After that, I will start checking out the other ETFs such as ARK ETF. I like our ETF because it is well diversified and lets you choose to invest in the industry you are interested in, while the S&P 500 already includes technology, banks, electric vehicle companies, and many more. With ARK, you could invest separately in the industry you are interested in. So let's say you are looking to invest in electric vehicle companies or companies that are working on on autonomous driving such as Tesla, Google, Amazon, or Lyft, but you don't have the time to do research on them and decide which one is better to invest on. Well, you could easily invest in ARKW or ARKW, which is the Autonomous Technology and Robotics ETF. They are focused on autonomous technology and they are already doing all the research you would need to do in each company before investing. Obviously, there are other ETFs and index funds out there, but right now I'm liking ARK Invest a lot because they focus, focus on growth companies and disruptive companies. I would recommend you go and check it out, check out their holdings and see if you like it. Now, sector number two, the mother risk investment. I do think that the stock I will mention in this sector are safe because they are mature companies and dividend aristocrats companies, but at the end of the day, we never know what will happen tomorrow and if any of these companies go bankrupt or simply stop growing. If you're more of a person that is looking to invest in the stock market in the long term, that is looking to receive a dividend payment every year, or you are someone that likes to invest in blue chip stocks, then this is a sector for you. I would invest my stimulus check in stocks such as Realty Income, which is a REIT or a Real Estate Investment Trust. This 
this company mainly invests in real estate and, man and makes money off the rent their tenants pay and they pay a nice dividend to their investors of 4.46%. Plus the stock has been constantly growing in the long term as well. Obviously, there are other REIT companies that are worth investing for a nice dividend, but this one is one of my favorites. The second stock in this sector would be a stock in the utilities industry such as Duke Energy that pays a nice dividend of 4.18% and it has a nice steady growth as well or stocks such as Next Era with a dividend of 2.17%. Also, I would recommend bank stocks. They also have a nice dividend and a nice growth. Even though they are suffering right now with low interest rate, I know that in the long term, they will continue growing. And even more if they start investing in technology even more. Another stock I would include in this sector, even though it is a tech company, would be Apple stock. Apple is a very mature company with a teeny tiny dividend of 0.68%, but the stock has offered a nice return in long term. Apple is a company I don't see disappearing, or at least I think it won't, because it has always found a way to come out with new and innovative products. Coca-Cola is another nice dividend aristocrat stock to look on. There are tons and tons of dividends stocks that are moderate risk and would be nice to invest your stimulus check on. Now this last segment, the high risk segment is not for everyone. It is for people that have a good risk tolerance and will not panic sell everything if we have a downturn like the one we have been through in the past weeks. This sector is to invest in industries such as e-commerce, cannabis companies, electric vehicle companies, fintech, cloud companies, and high growth disruptive companies. For e-commerce, I mainly invest in Amazon and Wish. Both companies have nice growth and are always looking to innovate and accelerate growth. For example, Amazon is a company that, that, that diversifies a lot. They invest in a cloud business, e-commerce, autonomous driving, streaming, advertising, and many more. So by investing in Amazon, you are not only investing in e-commerce but also in those industries. For the cannabis industry, I have been looking into True Leaf cannabis stock, which have been having excellent growth, and the company is very, very interesting. I have not invested in it yet, but I'm looking to invest in it, this industry because I think in the long term, more and more states will legalize it, and I could see a nice growth in the long term. Then, for the electric vehicle companies or industry, I would invest in Tesla or Neo. Both are nice companies companies with nice with an excellent growth year over year and have been innovating year over year as well. The other companies that have been investing in the long term growth companies are Tattoo Chef with, which is a plant based company, Lemonade which is an insurance company that is disruptive that industry, Facebook which it's Facebook is a tech company and Fubo TV which is a streaming service that right now acquired app sport betting platform. I do want to say that this is a high risk, high investment in, and it might help you get better returns from your stimulus check, but it is very volatile. I do have to accept that this is a nice moment to invest because the market has been dropping recently and it's presented very, very nice opportunities to be able to double your money in the stock market in the long term. The last segment I didn't mention at the beginning is cryptocurrencies. I know that most of you already know about cryptocurrencies, but if you are someone that is already investing in the stock market and is looking to invest in new things or diversify even more, I would take a look on cryptocurrencies. Yes, it is a high risk investment as well and very volatile one, but might be a nice one in the long term. I do have to say that I know some of you are going to use a stimulus for entertainment and I'm going to say that obviously it's way better for the long term to pay up debt, invest or save money, but we have been through a very tough year and might be a nice moment to just take a break and travel if possible or invest in yourself. Invest money in that hobby that you wanted to do before but haven't done it yet or invest money on that project that you have in mind. That is also a nice, a nice investment for the long term that could get you to financial freedom in the long term. Now, obviously not everything is about money, investing or saving money, even though that is what will help you be financially free in the long term. But sometimes it is fine to just take a break and enjoy yourself. So what are you doing with your stimulus check? Let me know in the comment section below if you already received both checks this year. Thank you and see you next time.